It's time for Reggie Smith Best of Japan. We'll show you what's that measuring way. Let's check this out. Hi, Reggie Smith here at the Reggie Smith Baseball Academy here in Encino, California in the USA. I hope you're watching the Reggie Smith YouTube channel to learn the major league way of playing baseball. Trying to pick up a Boston Red Sox right yes, here. Yes, he was. We saw it last week. You were working with Nathan Ivaldi. How did that come about? Did the Red Sox contact you? Did Ivaldi contact you? Uh, well, I, normally when I when I show up around Boston, uh, I ask who needs help. You know, Alex kind of came over and said, you know, we have this phenom here with a great arm, but he doesn't seem to have this, the spin rate that we would like to see, the movement on the ball and stuff like that. So we started talking so about it. So let me go to video, and we'll come back, and then you can take us further to it and explain to people at home what's going on and catch them up. So Nathan Evaldi's always been the guy that threw the ball hard, right? Yeah. And actually he's throwing ball pretty good this year for the Red Sox. And here's a little cutter, leaving out over the plate. Some, I'm showing him not good, so this makes my tape better for you at home. All right, but here's the big thing, his landing. Right here, the front leg stiff, kind of coiled back and finishing through. So Pedro got a chance to talk with him. I'll let Pedro go into this in a second, but start teaching him about his landing, where his body was, how to use that, come forward, finish. Those are my interpretations. We'll let Pedro get to it. But after this conversation, you see the velocity, 96, 97, 99. He got it back up there. In tonight's game, he came in 99 and, yeah, even 100. So Pedro, we saw a guy go from 93, 94, 95. He's been a guy that's thrown 100 in years past. Couple arm surgeries. He was 93, 94, 95. He was more than that probably yeah. at the time I yeah. saw him. He yeah. was more than that, yeah, probably, I, I'm certain. Probably mid 90s. And yeah. now he's back up to 100 again. So what were you exactly explaining with the landing and everything else? Well, the first thing I noticed was that, that at the time he landed, he landed more on, on his heels, and at the time he, he got to, to a point where he wanted to release the ball, he would lock that leg, and, and that's called a recoil. Uh, when he was going forward on his delivery, uh, his body had no choice with that locked knee but to stay up. And, and, uh, and when you get up and you expose the ball too early, Normally you get hit, they, you guys can pick it up pick really it up easy. Earlier, yeah. And and he was locking himself. Does that also leg. stop velocity? Yeah, it, it could. It could, it could okay. because you don't get the proper finish or the proper release point on the ball if you did this. And, mm. and, and I quickly spotted that. So it's that simple from this to this? Yes. You, 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 normally what you want to do is continue to go forward as, as you deliver the ball because you continue to go. Your, your it makes sense. Point. It makes you flexible to get here. One example that I'm going to give you really quick of another guy that was just like me, Giordano Ventura. Mm -hmm. Through 100 but will always stay on the back leg. So that this 100 from here doesn't get across the plate like 100. Ubaldi is probably 98 here but 94, 95 by the plate. Now if he flex the front knee and he's able to release that ball instead of back mm. here, over here, the ball will probably get the, the giddy up that he needs to actually get the proper velocity across the plate wow. and be more deceiving. Yes. Yeah, so All right, let's take a look that. again. What are you talking about here, Pedro? I, I'm talking up to him about riding the slope of the mound, not kicking out and locking that knee. Okay, let me be the pitcher and you be back to example here. So I'm coming here, I'm getting here, you want what now? I wanted him to kind of lean on that back leg, let that leg drop over and come over and smooth. And then I wanted him... So you want to ride the slope of the mound? Exactly. I want, oh wow, okay. It's like a landing gear for, for a plane. You want, yeah, exactly. You want that drop and drive to use the back leg, <laughs> be able to bend that leg <laughs> right here. <laughs> Juan Marichal. He almost yeah. pulled an Anthony Rizzo. And come Rizzo. down this way. Come down this way. Continue to come this way. That's so how it is. So when you got there. him here. Yeah. All right. And then he's coming down. Yeah. He, you pull he his hand. He doesn't kick. That leg lands softly. And you're actually able to bend it and continue forward as you deliver the ball this way. And you can actually lower your body a little bit better. Is that... When I open up, I wanted the ball to come back.
バランスポイント。ここで胸に近い位置まで足が引き上げられることで、うちにエネルギーが蓄えられています。ドロップドライブ。ヒップファーストから軸足でプレートを押し出すように重心を低くすることで力を蓄えます。ストライド、パワーピッチャーの理想のストライドの幅は身長の 110% と言われていますストライドの幅が広くなることでエクステンションリリースの位置が前になることで球速が増すことに大きく影響しますフットストライク前足が着地した時に軸足のかかとが浮かないようにすることで軸足でプレートを蹴る力を高めることができますフットストライク2ここで前膝をロックせずに膝を曲げて前に向かうことでエクステンション力を高めます。またここで初めて軸足の蹴りが始まります。最大外線位。このタイミングで一気に腰の回転が始まります。それにより強いひねりが生まれていることがわかります。そして胸郭と腕が大きくしなる動作が急速に反映されます。エクステンション。膝を十分に曲げた状態でリリースしていることがわかりますこのように前でボールをリリースすることで打者側に近い位置でのリリースを可能にしますコンタクトグラウンド軸足を地面につけた状態でフォロースリューを行いますこの時点で膝よりも胸郭と頭の位置が前にあることで前足の大腿四頭筋が肩と肘にかかる圧力を吸収します腕のの振りの原則、右手が股間の間から見えるように深く腕を振り切っていることがわかりますこのように最後まで腕を深く振り切ることで緩やかな腕の振りの原則ができることで腕への負担を軽減しますいや2018年のワールドシリーズで大活躍したイボーディ投手はマルチェンス氏のアドバイスにより急激に前膝でロックするリコイル反動を修正し正しいフットストライク前足の着地を習得することで急速が上がり制球力も向上しました一つの動作ができるようになることでそれに付随して多くのメリットが生まれることが分かります腕の動作に注目がいきがちですがパワーが生まれるのは実際には足ということがこの動画で伝わればと思います Smack it out the board.